Hey, Michelle here. Uh, people have been asking me about uh, cutting onions, and so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna cut some onions. I'm gonna call it a good enough onion. So, I got my onion. This is the stem part. This is the, it's called the root, but I'm gonna call it the beard. And I'm just, I'm just getting these because I don't want them to go all over. Will get stuck to my wet onion pieces, and then that's gross. Stem end, root end, first order of business. Essentially, with anything that you're doing with an onion, is to just with a real good grip on your onion, just cut the stem end off flat. That way, you have a nice stable onion. on your board to cut it in half that away. And um, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're cutting through the root part and not next to it, because then that kind of defeats the purpose of what we're doing here. Oh my gosh, I want to tell you why we cut through the roof, but I can't get the <laughs> skip off of the... All right, we're, gonna cut the, we're cutting through the root end because it's going to hold the onion together while we cut it. Oh my gosh. Listen, I swear this is the worst part of cutting onions. If you can weather this part, then the rest of the show is going to be no big deal. So first we're just going to do like a good enough onion chop. Honestly, for almost everything that you're going to use onions for, that you're going to cook the onions, this will be fine. Um, all right, so we're going to do just angled chops in. Frankly, if you wanted to just do like a straight up and down chop, that'd be fine too. We're doing like little slices and we're still not cutting through the root because again, that is going to hold everything together with cuts like that. And then just depending on like how big you want your chop to go, you just go this way until you can't anymore. You can continue chopping like this if you want. And then there's a chopped onion. You want them to be smaller? You can make your like up and down cuts closer together. If you want them bigger, make them farther apart. Easy peasy. And then if you need a whole onion, you just do it with the other half. Can I be perfectly honest? This board scraper, I bought it because I saw people on TV using it. And I think I thought I was gonna use it more for like pastry. But essentially, I only use it for picking things up off of the cutting board, and it has made my life... I'm kind of ashamed to say how much better my life is now that I have a board, a bench scraper. So, I have seen several of you via Marco Polo during this whole at-home time holding your knives like this, frankly giving me a heart attack, because I'm positive I'm about to see someone chop off their own finger. It's not good. It's bad. You'll hurt yourself. Like pinch this back part and then hold it this way. I promise you once you get the hang of this, you will like this better and will feel like you have more control. So now we are gonna um, dice an onion. I don't know, what if you want like a chili cheese dog and you need like little bits of onion? You can chop it and then do like this or Save yourself some trouble and do it this way. This one's a little scary, but not difficult necessarily. Flat, what I like to call my petting zoo hand. You know how they tell you like the alpaca will bite you? If your hand is like this, <laughs> if you do it like this, it's fine. It's the same with your knife. Then we're gonna make cuts across the onion this way. Um, and then, like, again, just like when, with the chopping, um, keep your, your root there so all your stuff comes together. Okay. Now, we are going to do up and down cuts that you will recognize from the rough chop. These ones 
you want to be closer together because again, we're trying to do a, a dice like you'd get on a chili dog. And then just like the chop, this time you want to make sure that you are making each like next chop pretty close to where the last one was. Oh my gosh. I almost just hurt myself. Let's maybe cut that out. We're not, and we can show, just to show you that that's what happens when you're making jokes instead of paying attention. Little itty bitty onion pieces. Okay, so any kind of shape really that you wanna do with your onion, if you keep the, the root on to hold it together, then you're golden, man. If you want to do like a fajita, you know, feel a little spicy when you do a fajita, you can do your radial cuts like you did with the chop and then just cut that guy out. Sometimes you just want like a half moon. Just like, like a thin half moon. You can do like a fatter half moon. This is super easy for if you're trying to caramelize onions and it's like 27 pounds of onions sliced just to do it this way. This is a lot easier. You can also pickle these guys. Anyway, thanks for tuning in everybody. That is how you cut an onion good enough. I'm gonna go uh, make something with some onions. Bye.